Hi. Hello everyone. Today we will see how to create a Spring Boot application and expose a REST API. So for that, what we will do is we will use a Spring Initializer project created by Spring. And so uh, so we will go to start.spring.io and we will select the Maven project and language as uh, Java and uh, select the stable 2.4.5 Spring Boot version and we will change the artifact name, uh, uh, group name and these things according to our wish. So here I am changing the group name to com.py and artifact name I will be changing it to let us say my API and the description we can uh, give it as my API spring boot and let it be a jar packaging and uh, java version we will select jdk 11 and in dependencies so we will add spring developer tools and spring web since we need to expose the rest api we need to select spring web and then what else we need here uh, we will be needing uh, spring data jpi if we wanted to use the jpa um, to if you are uh, connecting to mysql driver we have to select mysql uh, jdbc dependency or according to whatever db we are connecting to so we'll select mysql and i think this is uh, fine actually the uh, spring data jpa and mysql driver is not required if you are going to expose only the rest apis uh, only spring web dependency is required there so what we have to do now is we can generate this template so it uh, downloads this take this and it downloads to the download folder okay we'll Go to the folder, copy the downloaded template to a particular directory here. We'll create a directory, new directory called API workspace. And we will place the file inside the directory and now we will unzip that in the same directory and we will remove the downloader zip file which is generated by the generated by the spring initializer now if you open this my api directory you can see already the folder structure or the project structure is created maven project structure is created so we will what we will do is we will open this using IntelliJ we can use any IDE like NetBeans or uh, Eclipse or IntelliJ currently I am using IntelliJ for this demo purpose this is a community version of IntelliJ So here you can see the project is uh, open and you can see the form XML here. And we can see the dependencies whatever we selected like uh, data JPA, starter web and dev tools, MySQL connector, everything is downloaded and we have the folder structure as well and we have the resources with application dot properties and a spring boot application ready let us uh, see whether it runs as it is we'll run this
So the Maven artifacts are uh, getting downloaded and uh, our embedded Tomcat is getting started here. And it failed actually. Application failed to start, failed to configure the data source URL. Uh, yeah. So since we are using Spring Data JPA, it is expecting a database connectivity to be configured in the application property file. So for time being, what we can do is we can comment it out. And what we will do is we will compile again. and we'll see whether it runs so build the success and we'll run this application again and see Save this file and then we will do a clean and clean and compile it. Yeah. Once we do a clean and uh, build again, you can see that this application is started. The Tomcat is started in uh, port 8080, which is the default port. We can see the started the my application. So what we will do is we will uh, open the browser and check the same on 8080, and we can see get this uh, white label error. Uh, actually this is because we don't have any HTML pages exposed in desktop.html or anything exposed. Now what we will do is we will create a controller here. Uh, for that we will create a package called controller. And we will create a Java class inside that. Uh, let us call it as hello my controller and since we have we need to expose the rest web services or make this as a controller uh, to expose the rest web service we need a controller rest controller to be available in spring boot framework to make this a rest controller we have annotation called rest controller and we will uh, write a method which will be our rest service and we will return string hello will be the name of the method and we will return a string which says hello so to make this as a HTTP get method what we have to do is we have to annotate it with get mapping so that's it we have to do so once this is done we will restart the server
and let us see whether this REST API is getting exposed. So now the server is started again. Now we will go here where we got this white label error and we will refresh this page and you can already see hello which is actually coming from this. So the get mapping, since it is a get mapping, it, it can be accessed from the browser itself. So the same thing what we can do is we can access from Postman and check it as well. We'll open Postman. And go to my workbench. So here I give the URL and invoke the service and you can see hello which is getting returned from postman now let us change the response object to from string to list let us try to return list of strings so here what we will do is list dot of give like this and we will restart the server yes yeah server is restarted now from postman we can invoke the same and we can see the array getting returned the same thing we can test it from Browser as well, since this is a get API, we can see that array is getting written. Yeah, uh, that's it for uh, today. We'll see in another video. Thank you.